Your path to victory. It's ours now. I've got what it takes. Oh, that's pretty decent, actually. I gained a little. Surviving forever. Plus 25% to the Hydra. Missile damage, melee damage, and melee attack when her health is below 50%. Plus 100% Hydra ammunition. Doubles the Hydra range, doubles the Hydra's projectiles per shot. Mm. I think we should probably do melee skill, huh? Because this will get him to fire more. I don't really feel like we need more range. Let's do that. We will win through. And he's still got a pretty strong army over here. Glory awaits us. Wise in war. No problem. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to defend that. I'll have to refuse. Who's looking for a fight? I'll do it right. Break some heads! Let's free them. Do it right, get rewarded. Off 
we go. We will win through. Head out. Bring the pain. Massacre them. <laughs> Let them go. We're on the move. I'll prove myself. With Athena's blessing. Let's make war. Your triumph is assured. Victory beckons. Protect the settlement. Battle warms the blood. I shall. Loyal to the last. even doing that.
Your path to victory. More sail. I certainly will. Doing Hades' work. Let me up. Good and ready. I may as well let you speak. We are... Won't work. I can hardly wait. Not really an option. Who's looking for a fight? Kill the lot! Make me proud. We will claim victory. Engage the enemy. Gotta get this victory going. Let the captives go. Nice. All out attack! Nice indeed. Get that gone. Don't hold back! Come here. Occupy this place! There, now I don't need to worry about them. To the victors, the spoils! Attacking me from behind. Rely on me. Recess of Trace. I'll see it done. Meet your end. Zalmoxis favors us.
Alright, we just gotta run down here. We should be able to beat this game. We can take them. Can you? Resources here shortly. Doing Hades work. Good. Ship docked. Thracians engage. Zabazios trample them. This place is mine for the taking. I think that's the last guy. I'm not looking forward to this discourse. Five turns, huh?
never falter. It will be epic. Understood. Anchors away. Your triumph is assured. He will claim victory. Under sail. Nice lock. I guess that's the question. Should I wait, go to war now, or should I wait a turn? I don't think it really matters. My reliability. We might as well try talking, for what it's worth. Battle! Take your orders. Hold nothing back. Free the prisoners. New course. I serve without question. Fall upon them. We have increased our holdings. To battle. That is not possible. Unwavering service. Great deeds. Bring me victory. Make this place ours. of kings. Yeah, you guys can just stay over there, I guess. them down. Let 
Let's occupy it. With courage. War makes the man. Forced march. Not possible. That is nonsensical. The wise warrior. My shield is yours. No laggards now. Ah, oh, shit, does that place really only have one? Yep. Alright, well. Wise in war. Come on, man. Your enemies will fight. I do not expect to war then. Serving Ares. Leave none alive. We have increased our holdings. your command. Fit to fight. I can hardly wait. Whenever he decides to attack me, I will serve you well. Keep moving. We'll get uh, one of the victory conditions. To the last. See us coming from that way. I'm coming from over here. I thought that was going to be a victory. I think it's supposed to be in the game just froze. There we go.
All right, well, I'm going to quickly beat the other camping uh, mission, and then I'll talk about what I could do differently. And because I definitely think there's some major ways to make this campaign a hell of a lot easier. Not that it was super hard, but definitely I made it a lot harder than it had to be. So. Your triumph is assured. Strike them down. I will bring you victory. Show no fear. Doing Hades work. Engage the foe. Be their doom. Show your metal. Make this place ours. War makes the man. Enemies beware. I serve without question. Battle warms the blood. Veteran strategist. Wise in war. I don't think they would come Weapons against ready. me, but I suppose I should move some guys around just in case. Enemies beware. Ready to march. Praise Poseidon. Eager for war. Thracian king. Ares name. I never fought. Hold nothing back. Let us occupy it. We will claim victory. State your orders. 
I live for battle. Bring me victory. We have increased our holdings. Alright, well, we just watched this, so I'll probably skip ahead to the uh, ending here and uh, talk about kind of looking over the map and then what I think I should have done a lot differently on this campaign to make it uh, quite a bit easier. So let's take a look here. So we started up here and we're just kind of banging back and forth because I went to war here. So it's quite, you potentially could early on kill this guy, but it actually worked out nice that I got to war on the seaside. In retrospect, I kind of wish I would have taken a lot more of this stuff because I could have had all those resources. But it was not unreasonable to keep these guys alive here because they break alliances and then I could reform them and I really got to milk a lot of money from them. So maybe that's an option if you're having trouble with your resources to do that. Obviously with the rituals, I didn't understand for over half the campaign that I could do a ritual from each area. Uh, so I definitely recommend doing that. And also the armies can freaking reinforce your own army so you can use them to help take garrisons way easier so if I would have known that that would have made them a lot more useful and that would have like steamrolled this map way faster had I had an understanding that that was what would, could occur um, I really like this that you can defer some of the loot in order to get a lot of for, uh, favor from the gods saying that I feel like that actually slowed down my campaign because it caused a lot of difficulties with my finance uh, this you, this uh, this faction has amazing archers. So what I would actually recommend is if you're playing it on the mythologic setting, is I would go for Cerebus because he gives you the option to get the really nice heavy infantry units that are would probably be better front line than uh, the heavy spears for this place. Because the heavy spears for this uh, faction I didn't think were very good. They were fairly routinely killed. Whereas the heavy spears on most other factions will almost never die when you're in these battles. Uh, I definitely think getting the, uh, not the uh, club, but the armored spear ogres uh, were quite effective. And then uh, if you do end up using the hydra, then you could get the uh, hydra priest because I think they're definitely great with their abilities. They can easily, easily get a lot of kills and uh, can be very, very powerful, especially against armored units. Uh, I think kind of this faction focuses a lot more on diplomacy than what I would expect because it seemed like we were able to really do that quite well. Um, so making those agreements early on before we became too much of a strategic power definitely uh, was quite beneficial. Uh, another thing I think I could have, in retrospect, I wish I would have done is one of the uh, elite buildings, uh, the tier 5 buildings. Uh, that's special if you build it it'll give you 10 gold per turn so you know and i think it costs 170 so you have to wait 17 turns before you start making money on it but gold was a recurrent issue on this map um, and so if i would have built a bunch of those i think i would have been able to uh, really expand quite heavily now you could strategically not upgrade some of the settlements to tier 5 because not every settlement definitely needs to be tier 5 and you could sidestep that issue completely, but I like to have it upgraded all the way. That way I didn't have to worry about uh, getting taken out with sieges. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about this? I kind of wish you could upgrade the Countless Horde into a heavier unit army, but uh, I see why they did it that way to stop it from becoming way too easy. But uh, if you like using charger units, this is, uh, or charging units, this would be the one, that the faction to use, because that's really what they focus on. Unfortunately, that made the settlement battles way harder than they had to be, because you don't have any units that can hold the front line. So keep that in mind, for certainly. But uh, it was actually a pretty decent campaign. Felt much different from uh, the other campaigns that we played, which I certainly appreciate, because some of them just feel like reskins. But this one actually kind of felt like there was... Uh, some difference, but yeah, you could definitely see that we kind of got knocked back and forth back and forth uh, Here trying to 
consolidate here, and then because our allies were so weak for some long time that they just didn't help me, so we really had to fight this ourselves over here. But then once they started confederating, that really made it... This is about the time when the AI actually started helping me is when they confederated, so they only had two powers, because then they were able to really come across and uh, start fighting. So I think they probably got slammed into early on, which allowed us to expand on the west side. On the west side here. And so then, but then it kind of crippled them until later in the game. So uh, definitely kind of slowed us down there. Got to see how powerful Ajax walls are. Man, those things were a pain in the ass to have to kill. But uh, yeah, you can just see we just kind of came across and steamrolled all these areas. And then had to cross down into Crete. And we were able to take that out. So. Ended up having 138 uh, regions, 33 provinces owned. Summary, took 128 turns. Current settlement held, 138. Captured 146, we lost eight of them. <laughs> Most wars was 11. War declarations, 54. We got 2.5 million food, 761,000 wood, 169,000 stone, 212,000 bronze, and 23,000 gold. Total armies established, 11. Current armies, 13. Most concurrent armies, 13. Recruited 11 heroes, killed 183. Lost seven of them. Most of those are from settlement battles. Recruited 212 units. Destroyed almost uh, 3,000. We lost 270 of our own. Let's see. We fought uh, 269 battles. Personally fought 100, so a little over a third. Auto resolved 160, land battles, ambush battles, siege battles, 30, minor settlement battles, victories, losses, 28 defeats, 4 land battles, 1 siege battle, and then the minor factions. Hmm. Captives pardoned, almost 29,000, captives executed. Almost 69,000. Nice. And count is taken on. 4,280. Hmm. Interesting. So there we go. That is victory for us. I live. So, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, please give my channel a like and subscribe to uh, encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.